Day 13. Genesis 37 to 38. Jacob's favoritism. Joseph had to suffer terribly because of his dreams, but God helps him endure and sends him ahead to prepare for the Exodus. First point. As Jacob's favoritism became deeper, the further his other sons turned from him. When Rachel, whom Jacob had loved, passed away, his love passed unto Joseph and then unto Benjamin. For Jacob, this was love, but for the other three wives and ten sons, this was cruel favoritism. Such favoritism by Jacob read the family into conflict. When Jacob wanted to meet his brother Isa after 20 years, he revealed the extent of his favoritism. In front of the line, he praised Zilpah and Bilhah along with the sons born by them. Behind them, he praised Leha with the sons born by her. And right at the back, he praised Rachel and Joseph where it was most safe. Second point. Jacob, who fooled his own father with cloth, became fooled by his own ten sons through cloth. In the past, Jacob wore his brother Esau's clothes to fool his father Isaac. He did not, however, manage to fool his father for a long time. But Jacob faced the same trick, only this time he was the one being tricked by his own sons. Jacob's sons took Joseph's ornate robe and covered it with blood and brought it to Jacob. Seeing it, Jacob believed that an animal had killed Joseph and started to lament. Jacob's sons, differently to Jacob, were more skillful and were able to keep this secret for 22 years despite seeing their father in great anguish. Third point, Judah took three steps in constructing the relationship between his brothers. The first step was his suggestion to sell Joseph. The second step was when Judah said to his father, you can hold me personally responsible for him. Judah offered his two sons in exchange for taking Benjamin. It was only then that Jacob decided to let Benjamin go. As such, it was through Judah's actions that the brothers were able to reunite in Egypt. The third step was to take Benjamin's price as a slave. Observed through tongue, God's word to Abraham that, for 400 years, your descendants will be strangers in a country, not their own, and that they will be enslaved and mistreated there were beginning to unfold. Fourth point, Judah understood his father after bearing his own two sons. Seeing the Bible as a whole, Genesis chapter 38 is very important. Judah left home due to his father's extreme favoritism. Furthermore, he went against his father's wishes, married a Canaanite woman, and had children with her. But Judah's sons were wicked in the eyes of God, so he killed two of them. Although they were evil in the eyes of God to Judah, it was a heart-wrenching experience. It was only after burying his two sons that Judah was able to understand his father. He remembered how sadly his own father cried after hearing that Joseph had been killed by an animal. Fifth point, Tamar changed Judah immensely. It was the instant with Tamar, Judah's daughter-in-law, that brought Judah back to his father. A strange instant left Judah, twin boys whom he did not know whether to call sons or grandsons born through Tamar. This was when Judah confessed that she is more righteous than he. Judah took his two sons, 
Harald and Jara to his father Jacob. Taking his shame with him, he returned to his father. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondok app. The Tondok app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondok app.